Next Wave DB's coverage of NAB 2011 is made possible by LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video, CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast, Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring, BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio. Tony here from Next Wave DV, and we're back with Brian Valente from Red Rock Micro, and you guys have this sweet micro remote system that's going to change focusing for anyone in the business. Yeah, and we hope, of course, change for the better. Um, our micro remote system is a family of products that allow you to do both wired and wireless operation of focus, which for a lot of folks who are shooting DSLR, these large chip cameras, it is the most difficult part about trying to achieve that film look. We have the nice shallow depth of field, the selective focus, but as soon as you try to start moving around, it's tough. So. What we're going to show here is this is the wireless system. It's a working system. You can see as I'm moving this, it's got instantaneous response uh, to the motor. It's very, very responsive. As a focus control system, that is the single most important criteria to judge. It's just, is it going to be absolutely lightning fast and make that piece work? Now, the second part about the system that's really important is it's designed to help people, teach people about focus. So what we have is a couple of pieces here. One is we have the focusing system that actually tells you where on your lens you're actually focused. The second piece uh, is we have this micro uh, tape. It's a sonar rangefinder. Um, it allows you to actually judge the distance uh, in real time to your um, subject there. So if maybe if someone could just stand over there, we can just sort of show and sort of move a hand there. Um, you can see that we can actually, as we change, you just want to sort of walk forwards and backwards you can see that it actually tracks in real time uh, the distance to the subject. So what I mean by a teaching system is this will give you the, uh, the three pieces of information you need to understand how to understand focus and then control it. The first is this top uh, uh, dot shows me where I'm focused and it gives me the actual numerical readout based on my lens information that I then input in. The second piece is this blue part tells me my available depth of field based on my lens choice and aperture. So for example, when I choose this, um, aperture and actually change it, you can see that it actually re readjusts the available uh, depth of field there. The third part is uh, this information down here, which is actually the sonar. So it's actually registering uh, how far the distance to the subject is, and this little red dot is the sonar itself. It's a little buggy right now, but you sort of get the basic idea that what we want to do is show people to align both of these marks within the blue areas, and when I know that that's going to actually have my subject in focus. So this is what I mean by it's a combination of a focus control system, but also a focus learning system that you can visually understand the relationship between the subject distance, where I'm focused, and also what my lens is capable of producing. And we think this is really going to change the world for a lot of people, not necessarily folks who are professional ICs who would want probably a much more streamlined system that we also offer, but for folks who need to pull focus accurately and just don't have a decade to develop that kind of experience. What kind of uh, iPhone and iPod devices will this work with? So it works with the iPhone or iPod Touch. Uh, pretty much any version will work. Um, the iPhone 3, 3GS, uh, iPhone 4, the latest iPod Touches. Obviously, uh, the faster the processor, the faster your experience and refresh is going to be, but it pretty much works with all of them. Most importantly, for this type of system, which is the performance, this wheel, as you move it, is connected directly to our radio system. And this acts as a uh, interface uh, that dis display only. So we are not relying on the performance of the iPhone or the iPod for doing any of this stuff. And in fact, it's sort of a mistake to go down that route thinking about Wi-Fi or Bluetooth because it's just never going to be as responsive as you need it to be. And as I mentioned, that is the number one criteria for a focusing system. So great to have all this additional information, but if it actually slows things down, it's going to be a big problem. Great to hear. Can you tell us uh, availability and pricing? Yes. So June 15th, we're shipping this. Um, we offer it in piece parts so you can buy individual components. But the basic system, which is the wireless uh, component, a base station, and uh, one of the Red Rock torque motors, is going to be about $2,200, $2,300. If you want to use the uh, iPod uh, Touch or iPhone, you supply that piece. The software is $50 downloaded from iTunes. We also have a configuration with a uh, finger wheel that we saw earlier. And that piece, uh, for those three pieces together, is going to be about $1,600. If you want both controllers, the wireless and the wired controller, with the motor and the base station, it's about $2,400. So again, very, very affordable and really a fraction of the price of anything that's even comparable in terms of features and performance. You can see, uh, if you're rolling, as George moves the uh, finger wheel, you can see that it's adjusting uh, the focus here. And um, George, if you swing around on the other side, we'll take a look at what's on the other side of the rig here. Come around, point back this way. 
This is the finger wheel, as we talked about. And you can see that as he's moving it, it's actually affecting the focus here. Now, this is actually geared for uh, a, D, uh, a DSLR, but of course, we'll work with any camera, the Sony F3, the AF100, you know, cinema lenses, and so forth. And then on the back here, this is the brains of the operation, the, the base station. You can also plug in the um, sonar, uh, the microtape sonar rangefinder, and actually have that information showing up on your remote as well. Very exciting to hear. For more, for more information, where can people go? RedRockMicro.com. Thanks for your time, Brian. Thank you very much. Subscribe to us on YouTube and visit nextwavedv.com for more news and training for video and filmmakers.